Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel Anvane Kumar Basics of Physics. This is the right place to learn. Dear students, in this video we are going to discuss about the one of the most important topic in the chapter of system of particles and rotary motion. That is the relation between angular acceleration and torque which is very important for 4 marks question in our public examination point of view. That's why you have to watch the video up to last. The question should be like this. Look here. Define angular acceleration and torque. Establish the relation between angular acceleration and torque. We have to derive the relation between angular acceleration and torque. The first thing is what is mean by angular acceleration? The rate of change of angular velocity is called angular acceleration. Angular action can be acceleration can be denoted by alpha. The rate of change of angular velocity is called angular acceleration. Angular acceleration can be denoted by formula notation alpha. The formula can be written as alpha is equal to d by dt of omega. So this is the formula for angular acceleration. Here omega is the angular velocity. What is omega? Angular velocity. While a body is moving along a circular path with respect of one axis, then its velocity is taken as angular velocity and its acceleration should be taken as angular acceleration. That's why we are writing the rate of change of angular velocity is called angular acceleration. So dear students, now units of angular acceleration are radian for second square, radian for second square or revolutions, revolutions for second square. That is the units for angular acceleration and dimensional formula, dimensional formula can be written as m to 4 of 0, l to 4 of 0, t to 4 of minus 2. So this is simply about the angular acceleration. Now first you have to know about the what is torque. What is torque? The rate of change of angular momentum. The rate of change of angular momentum is called torque. So this is nothing but children Newton second law in rotary motion. Clear? Tau is equals to dl by dt. That is the formula here. Look here. Torque is the rate of change of angular momentum is called torque. Tau is equals to d by dt of l. Here what is l? L is the angular momentum. That should be expressed as l is equals to r cross p. Here R is the position vector and P is the linear momentum and L is the angular momentum. Clear children. Now we can go for derivation between relation between angular acceleration and torque. Now we have to derive the relation between angular acceleration and torque. So dear students, here one body it is there. That should be having some mass m thus we having some mass m and it is moving or uh, rotating with respect of one axis one vertical axis like this so then here we have to consider the circular path of radius r a body of mass m is rotating with respect of one fixed axis so dear students already we know that when a body is moving along the circular path at any point you can draw the one tangent line that will use the direction of linear velocity here what is v direction of linear velocity and the angular velocity is with respect of this axis should be like this now by using this condition or this situation we have to derive the relation between the angular acceleration and uh, torque this is very simple children the same thing in the next diagram look here same thing this is the body of mass capital M and that should be revolving in circular path of radius capital R and with respect of one fixed axis. 
This is the direction of linear velocity and this is the direction of angular velocity. So dear students, already we know that according to the definition of torque, according to the definition of torque, just now only we discussed what it is to learn torque means the rate of change of angular momentum the rate of change of angular momentum is called torque so children here the angular momentum angular momentum angular momentum can be expressed can be expressed as like this l is equals to i omega l is equals to i omega here what is i i is the moment of inertia what it is i moment of inertia and what is omega omega is angular velocity angular velocity clear now you have to substitute this l value in that equation what we get tau is equals to d by dt of i omega so already we know that what is moment of inertia i is equals to m r square i is equals to m r square in this case capital m is the mass of the body it is constant and radius of the circle also constant simply what you have to say moment of inertia is constant that's why there is no differentiation for i simply we can write tau is equals to i of d by dt of omega clear here what is omega angular velocity so rate of change of angular velocity what we know but what you have to know d by dt of omega means what this is the angular acceleration what it is angular acceleration so instead of d by dt of omega we can write alpha therefore tau is equals to i alpha here what is alpha angular acceleration what is tau torque so children this equation represents the relation between torque and angular acceleration and if what we are saying i is constant then obviously what right t is proportional to s angular acceleration so this is the relation between torque and angular acceleration tau is equals to i alpha very easiest one children if you can understand this one now prepare the notes and if you can understood this one like share comment the video and subscribe our channel press the bell icon to get all notifications thank you thank you for watching